Okay, let's start with a spark of grace. Remember that how you respond to things is within your control. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Practice acceptance for what you cannot change. Okay. Uh, <laughs> treat others as they want to be treated. Okay. Try on that one. <laughs> Meditate on, on what gives your life meaning. Ooh, that I love. Okay. <laughs> Be there when others need you. Do one thing today that helps someone else. Okay. Something about alive. Okay. This one. Give thanks that you are alive. Woo! All right. So now I'm getting something like, well, you know, we can't make everybody happy, right? Okay. And and that's not even our job. Our job is to do where move where we feel inspired to move and then um you know, how people feel is their business, how they move their energy. Okay. So um All right. So let's get uh let's see here. Spark of happiness. Let's do that. Foster gratitude. Write a list of things you are thankful for. Look at mundane chores as an opportunity for silent reflection and gratitude. Ooh. I use the dishwasher a lot, but that, when you're washing dishes, that can, um, as long as it's not uh, something... Yeah, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's important to be present in the moment when you're doing chores, right? Especially when it c comes to uh, washing glass and, and um, stuff. Okay, plant a garden. I like that one. I want to do that. I want to do some indoor gardens. Okay, I like that one. Okay, let's see. Make a double batch of cookies or triple your soup recipe and share freely. Ooh. All right, okay, now. We're going to do today, okay, yesterday I did um, Libra, Libra Scorpio, and that kind of melted into each other a little bit, so um, it kind of felt, the energy kind of felt real similar, okay, and then I went to uh, Sagittarius, and I think I skipped Capricorn, went to Aquarius, and then I, I skipped Pisces. Okay, so what I want to do is go back and do Libra, Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, this is, uh, oh wait, let's use this deck for Libra. Okay, Libra, we're going to do Libra again. lovers okay all right let's go down the line okay so in love life this feels like unfinished business <laughs> okay like there's someone uh that you'd like to go back and uh try again with or at least make peace or amends something okay now career life i feel like this feels like unfinished business too it's like for some of you this was like past life connection met them again in this reality the cycle came through and then you're trying to see where to take this new uh take this to a new place in this time space reality okay all right so that might take reflection uh self-reflection yeah 
and how you view yourself as a leader or um, in your position of power, whatever that is. Okay. All right. Now, for some of you, you want to move into a career that you love, that you feel good in. How can I feel good right now in my job at present moment? Some of you, this might be looking forward to a new uh this is important because you want to be present in the moment, enjoy the now to get the, um, to get a uh, high outcome. All right. So, okay. There's a lot of sunshine here and yesterday there was a lot of golden stuff. Okay. So yesterday I think it was like crystallization of the body. Now here I feel like this is, you're looking forward to, now for some of you, this would be like looking forward to retirement or looking forward to the next phase in your life or even just looking forward to this fresh new year and loving the world and loving humanity, right? And um, for some of you, this is, uh, you had a partner and now you stand alone. Okay, now let's move to money. Okay, so money relationship. We want to take a look at that. How do I view money in my relationship on my uh, view material things? Okay, um, so finances. Where can I take this? Where can I invest? I've invested in this, this, and this, but where can I invest next? Where can I move next? Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, it takes like a subtle action. It's not forcing anything. It's just like kind of flowing but moving. All right, let's see what the next card is. Okay, magician. Yeah, magician. So where am I taking this next? Where am I taking my love life? Where am I taking my career? Where? How do I view money and where am I moving with that? Okay. Okay, now for some of you, you had to walk away from one of those things. It's like you had to let the load go so you can move. Okay. But you still, for some of you, this is an earth sign that walked away from you. And they never really let go. They still love you. And there's like a little cherub down here. I wonder if you had a kid with them. Okay. At any rate, there's cancer claws. And that's what's hidden is that they still want to build with you. Yeah, that's the challenge. Will they open up? Will you open up, right, fully to kind of engage in the kind of love that you desire? Okay. Now, if it's career, I feel like for some of you, you're halfway in and halfway out. You don't know what you want. Okay, so if that's the case, it might take more. See, this is an action card. Uh, it might take more uh, one-pointed focus in a direction. Ooh, this is reminding me of a thing I saw yesterday. It's like Apollo. Um, it was like the story was like mysteries of the Apollo traveling around in space. <laughs> is that you <laughs> okay if that's a family member you might want to go hang out with them <laughs> you might get charged up to uh go do something else oh i like that so it's like if you have a family right other than work then um, go do that a little bit. I feel like that can improve your love department, like how you feel about the world. Okay. You won't feel like leaving it. Okay. But I feel like for some of you, this is returning to that past person, the person that symbolizes love to you. Could be any sign. All right. 
And I like this because it, it if you're holding on too tightly, it's like that ELO song that says, hold on tight to your dreams, right? But if you hold on too tightly, it there, it's like constricting energy. It's like a loose... A loosening creates a space. All right. Even little messages would help to people to know that you care when it comes to family and love. All right. Now, if it's work and other things, Still do small messages. I feel like that's important. Why is that? Okay, so if you had children with them, you want to contact them and stay connected with them, even if it's a small message to just let them know that you're thinking of them, right? If you're the kind of person that can't say I love you, then you want to um, at least send some sort of gesture, emoji is what I'm getting here. Right with the star, and I feel like that'll open up some things for you, and you won't feel like the whole world is out to get you. Okay, yeah, so see, this is if you feel like this energy, you may need to persevere, but it's like be the magician, not this guy. This could be someone who feels, um wounded or um what is that victim energy is something do you feel like something's been being done to you or for you right this experience happened so that i could rise okay and then that is the energy where you could take that magic wand and go okay may take some sort of perseverance in all departments i feel like because that could be like wanting to uh Now, what I'm getting here is, all right, uh, your heart space. It's like wherever you walk, walk with love. That's the message. Okay. And I feel like that would have you feeling balanced again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, and then this could be this. Moving with your new opportunities, the new inspiration that pops up. This is unlimited creativity that you could move with. And you've got two cards like that. Woo! Okay. Three of Cups. Okay, I was like, what are we celebrating about? Letting go of the resistance. And here again, it's like, Defending your position and needing to really move out of that inner battle. Because whatever that inner battle is, it's coming out on the outside world. So you want to free yourself from that so you can move with that wand. That's, it, that message keeps repeating in here. Yeah. Now this was coming up as internet detox. Social media detox. And it, the ending of the cycle, which is good. Amen to that. Woo! Okay. So see, you got the four wands here. Three cups and four wands. Okay. This is good time and celebrations. Okay. So keep dreaming about this ten of cups. This happy ending could be happy now. Happy now. I am happy now. And this is like feeling left out in the cold. But, I don't know if it's but. Hold on a second. All right, so something you did, perhaps, is it causing you stress. Okay, that's what I want to say that is. Okay, so what it takes is uh, forgiving yourself and others, 
to move in that happy place, that youthful happy place. Okay. All right. And I'll have you back in your element again, King of Swords. Okay. And what I see is that you don't want to be by yourself. Okay, you let go of the regrets of the past. If you haven't done that, that's what's next. Okay. Yeah, so letting go of the regrets. You want a new beginning, but it's delayed. Why is that delayed? Because... It's like the Libra energy, right? It's like, um, it feels like a yo-yo sometimes. So, so when that happens, I feel like what you do is, uh, this may just be for one person. What you do is when you feel yo-yo, then you, you stop. Okay. And then that delays everything. All right, and this is like wanting to win at all costs in love, work, and, and but it's like, who are we hurting on the way there, right? That's, that's the thing. All right. I got that song. I don't want to, um, I don't want to, uh, fight anymore. I don't want to be a player anymore. Okay, so what is that? All right, the key here is focus on the things that you're creating. And um, Okay, so let's say you have all these buns in the oven. Focus on one and move with that. Because if you sit and wait, that's that's stagnant energy. You want to keep moving. That's the key. That's why you keep getting all these wands. Move, move, move. That's the message. Okay, and then stay connected through messaging. Messaging. Okay, and I feel like you're gonna get messages too. From <laughs> okay, someone's gonna come with a cup of love here. Okay, someone you haven't been able to let go of. You're going to be able to move with them. For some of you, it's a Capricorn that you still, you remember times when you were youthful with this playful Capricorn. All right. And now I feel like you've matured a little bit more, but you still remember the good times. I see that as you. Okay. So, um. All those wands, right? That's your passion that you're moving with. But I feel like deep down, if you could, you would go back with that person, that past person. Now, for some of you, uh, the reason why you're holding that fire is because that person was uh, caused you to dip in the polar opposite energy. Okay. Okay, but see, this is what I feel like you're doing. Okay, the Seven of Cups. You have a lot of things you're giving energy to. And so you feel like if you put a brakes on, then that would feel like your luck is on brakes too. Okay, so you want to move King of Wands. Even if it's slow, you want to move. That's the message. All right. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Okay. And so there's a match here. See? All this stuff you've been giving energy to, eventually when you really move, this is going to flip. You're going to feel like luck is on your side when it comes to partnership. And it can come together. Look at that. Two passionate people. It's like someone meeting you or matching you with your passion and love. Uh, for each other. And I feel like that's what you've been dreaming about. That ten of cups. Okay I'll leave you with that. <laughs>